Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you the difference between a class and a struct in C++. Let's create a little Vector3 class. I'll give it three member variables, an x, y and z value, all of type double. Note that I haven't specified any access modifier here. So are these variables public, private or protected? Let's write a main function and find out. If I create an instance of my Vector3 class and try to set its x value, for example, I get an error. It states that x is inaccessible. That's because all members of a class are private by default. That includes methods, even the special ones like constructors and destructors. If I want the variables to be public, I can state it explicitly like this. Or I can use a struct instead of a class. That's because all members of a struct are public by default. Back in main, I no longer have errors and I can access and modify the member variables just like this. There's actually an easier way to create a vector. We can simply use list initialization. The only difference between a struct and a class in C++ is the default access modifier. Class members are private by default and struct members are public. There is nothing you can only do with one and not with the other. That being said, programmers tend to think differently about classes and structs. So to avoid confusion, I recommend using a struct for simple grouping of data, like Vector3 for example. If you need class-like features, such as private members and non-default construction, then use a class.